This is a demonstration of how to use the Summarize Posts shortcode that's included in the Custom Content Type Manager. If you're looking at the main content block on any post or page or any custom content type that you've created, you have this menu icon here. It's a green push pin for Summarize Posts. And when I click that, what opens up is a light box that defines a search. So what we're doing with Summarize Posts is we're essentially defining a search and then we expect to see the results of those search on the page. So for this example, I'm going to look for all my movies and I've created a custom post type for movie here and I could add other search criteria here. Let's say I want to limit the results to three and include these in ascending order by post title. I click generate shortcode and that's the shortcode that's generated and when I update this the default behavior here if I go to the front end of the site and view this page you see that we have an alphabetized list here the default behavior is an unordered list. Now to do something more advanced we can use the full version of the shortcode which uses both an opening and a closing tag. And in the middle, we want to put a formatting template. So we need to put a string in here that will format the output. And I like to switch over to the HTML version view here because it's a little bit easier to edit. So to reproduce what we had, we had something like this. Um, list item and we would have a placeholder for post title and in order to make that into a link we would need to put in an anchor tag and there is a placeholder for permalink and then I'll close the anchor tag here and when I update this we should see about the same thing on the front front page If you want to include some other fields, like maybe uh, the rating for the film, you may not know which placeholders are available. It can be useful to review the custom fields that are defined under the custom content types. I see that I have these particular custom fields. There's one for rating, so if I wanted to include that, I might put parentheses here and then rating. I'll update this and we'll view this again and see that now we are including the ratings on each of those films. And a common task is also to include an image. So these particular posts, the movie posts, have poster images. I believe it's singular, let me double check here. Poster image, yeah, that is correct. So poster image is our placeholder. I update that and let's take a look. Hmm, what is this about? This is a JSON array and it's containing the image IDs. It's technically their post IDs for the images that are associated with, with each of these films. You don't particularly want the ID, you want what this represents. So we need to use an output filter to convert these numbers to something useful. So under poster image, I'm going to use colon and to image tag. That's an output filter and it will convert a number into an actual image tag. And now when I refresh this, you see that it's converted those numbers to the actual image. Um, there is a lot more flexibility when you use the PHP version of this, but that's not available to the short code. So take a look at the wiki and take a look at the output filters to see what's available because there is a series of filters here that can help you um, get the exact code that you want inside of your short codes. Um, the placeholders are a little bit confusing at first but you'll find that they are fairly flexible and they do protect you from having PHP errors. You don't need to know any coding to use them. So hopefully that's a good demonstration for how you might use this particular short code.